Fuck, that's nice boxes. Oh, stickers. Ooh. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, just making sure there's two of them in there. So that's rear camera arms. Front camera arms. So now I can go slammed. Nice and shiny. And they come with cotter pins as well. And the fronts are left and right. And I've got left and right. So to remove the up control arm, you need to remove that bolt and then you can see it, that bolt there. And there's another one on the side as well. You can't even see it, but, it, but it's there. So here's what I had to do to remove the other side. <sighs> Make sure the tip is centered on the bolt and then Crank it till it pops. And it's really fucking violent. And I really wish my hand didn't have to be behind it like that. <clears throat> anyway, there you go, it's off, that's the hardest bit to do. And then once you're under all the bolts, you can just pull it out. Okay, so that was tough, but I got it out. Um, I just have to use a kind of weird uh, ball joint puller thing to get the ball joint out. Obviously, it's like quite fucking tough. Now, these are labelled left and right, and I'm assuming it's left, your left and right from the driver's seat, so I'm putting this one in on my driver's side, but obviously if you're in America it would be different, because I'm right hand drive, and yeah. I'm just going to max the camera before putting them in, um, and you just do it by loosening these and then sliding it like that and then re-tightening it <clears throat> and now the install is just the reverse of the removal just put that up there and slide the bolts through. Then you can line up the holes. There you go. And then just thread it in slightly so it doesn't fall out. And do the other side. And 
and then just loosen the ball joint up a bit so you can position it where you need to. Yeah, it's in. Backed up the hub to close to where I think it will be sitting when I'm uh, when the car's actually on the ground. Uh, I don't know if you need to do this, but I'm doing it to like set the bushings. I know you have to do it on the rear lower control arm, so I just I don't think it'll hurt to do it on the front. Feel free to tell me if it does hurt or you don't need to do it. And I'll just tighten it. Uh, yeah, the holes are lined up. And now I'm just doing the top box. I feel like this setup is far too nice for what I'm doing with this car. Just stancing it. Um, probably this is what a lot of guys would probably want for their uh, autocross car, track day car. And I'm just stancing it. Oh well. The rear camber arms. Um, it's just this bolt and then those two in the back there. I might also loosen this bolt in case I can't push the hub backwards I guess. Uh, but we'll see if I have to do that. So here's the stock one compared to the hard race one. Um, just like the front, I think I'm going to leave the hard race one at the maximum negative camber, like the shortest length possible. Um, but even that might not be enough. I might take out one of these. Maybe. I'm not sure if I should. Probably should have got the shorter stance only versions, but you know, we'll see if these are good enough. So now I'm just going to install it. And here you go, load and Max camber. So these are 15 inch wheels. Um, which the front would go lower. I guess I can get those lowered, those like drop fork things. But uh, pretty low. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's some stupid camera, isn't it? And here's the final touch. One punch, man. I don't know how long he's going to stay on there since he actually touches the ground, but yeah. There you go, there's Hello the Cars. Thanks for watching.